With a municipal election coming up, St. Catharines is one of the cities that will definitely have a new mayor after Walter Sendzik said he will not be seeking re-election. Manisa Danabalin spoke with some of the candidates as well as people living in the city. The three candidates running for mayor in St. Catharines is Matt Sisko and Mike Britton. Both of them are former city councillors and regional councillors. Residents in St. Catharines have a lot of changes they want to see. Just want uh, something that's there and affordable for uh, some kids so that they can at least like participate in some type of uh, sports. Another uh, thing that we have is our parks are not up to date. Housing affordability, both the rental market and the the new home market and even the older home market has become so unattainable. If they really want to help businesses, they're going to have to cut back on the bureaucracy, waiting for li licensing everybody no matter what they do, um, just making it difficult to do business. The opioid crisis and the amount of people we're losing in our community to um, to opioids, mental health. Both candidates say addressing the opioid crisis, housing affordability, and reducing the red tape is on their to-do list. And an important step is to make the permit process faster. They go to City Hall and they hear uh, red tape. And so I think we need to do a, a, a change the culture to a culture of service, and that comes from the top. Ultimately, we know if we want to make this community more affordable, we need to make it less expensive to do business here. And the first thing on their list they want to tackle is... The cost of using city facilities, uh, the costs associated with going out to different parts of the community. I want a full service fee review uh, to start immediately. Uh, axe the beach tax. Uh, we have paid parking, um, something that they instituted last year. I think the city should not contribute to that uh, burden that's going on right now with inflation. We reached out to the third candidate, Nick Petrucci, but have yet to hear back. Brock University professor David Siegel says it's still too early to tell how this race will go. There are three people running, but it's really a two-person race. Britain has that same experience on city and regional council. However, uh, Cisco has been uh, at this longer. He served longer. 35 people have registered to run for St. Catharines City Council, which includes the three candidates running for mayor. The election is October 24th, and advanced polls will open starting October 6th. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News, St. Catharines.